Yo guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and welcome to a very, very special video. It's been a while since I've done one of these and that is a top drives and chill, a garage showcase for one of the, well, he is the definition of channel OG to be honest. And also it is indeed his birthday. A very, very lucky man. What's up, Corn? How you doing? Hey man, what's up? Glad to have you. Glad uh, to be on, man. I'm happy good. birthday, bro. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Everyone thanks to all drop the a comment as well. down below, by the way. And then give a nice little happy birthday board for, for Mr. Corn over here. And thanks to everybody on Discord, too. I saw all the wishes. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Anytime, bro. Anytime. It's so nice that we have that birthday bot now as well. So everybody knows. Yeah, that's good. That's a good thing. That's yeah. cool. So I think I gave you a brief explanation of how garage like showcases go, right? It's going to be chill, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and for those that don't know, if this is your first time, because I've not recorded a lot of these. These are very special videos. I think I've only done this for like Leo and Canon and Luke in the past. Uh, basically, what's going to go is that uh, it's not really a garage review, man. Like, he, you know, Corn's a super OG. He knows what he's doing. We're going to be asking about how he plays the game, his experiences, his ups and downs, favorite prize cars, or maybe those that he didn't win. I think I know the answers to all of those questions, but... <laughs> <laughs> let's get into it bro click that filter let's see how, what your garage is looking like with 54k trophies all right is it, oh, is it a coincidence you got 50 540k as well with 54k trophies hey it works out great yeah i think it works out great so you got a massive garage just to start us off i think 2140 cars i think you have more cars than i do i think i have like 2030 is it a 2030 or 2300? I can't really remember. <laughs> but well, you got a massive, massive garage, dude. Like, two, two yeah, hundred twenty-five well, comments. Yes, sir. Yeah, recently it's because of you know the two challenges, the old guard and Instella. You know, trying to collect the car just to hold them, mm -hmm. just for the challenges. You know, I mean, extra fluff. Look at how clean that is at the bottom. You got two hundred epics and one hundred legendaries. If, like, I'm not going to say if only you had 300 ultra airs because that would like decrease the amount. So I should round it up to like 350 or something. But yeah, that's a pretty nice collection. What would you say is your strongest rarity in your garage? Um, I would probably go with ultras or super. Uh, my epic garage, even though you see that 200, I don't have, um, there's some key ones still missing, you know, that I'm still hunting for. I have on my wish list there, but, uh, uh, with the new, the new, uh, update looks pretty good so i'm still trying to get some of those as well you know epics you don't upgrade as quickly as you do the rest because you try to save your fuse material i feel that man how, how about this how about this let's go to status real quick let's let's hit that fully upgraded and let's see what the numbers look like 1646 max cars Woo! and rarity there we go 90 epics to be honest i didn't know you had that many max epics 90 epics is huge 281 well, 411 well the the epics come from the the you know the cars that moved up so a couple of those you know kind of get instant you know maxed out when we had the uh upgrade changes you know so even though you see that 200 when you see the garage you'll see that's a bit of a flex you know it was more but some got cut that's yeah. fair, that's fair. And that's crazy that you have 411 Super Airs. Did you have more than that before PL15? Because a lot of Super Airs went up. Actually, I had... I actually didn't... I didn't lose that many going up to Ultra. I had more come from Rare to go up to Super. Um, most of these, like, these Type 2 Volkswagens, you know, we've had those from the, the old school challenges that we used to go through. You decided to um, keep three of them, huh? The Type 2s? Well, I don't really fuse or sell anything that I've maxed. Once it's maxed, it's locked in That's pretty fine. much. Uh, um, as you see, there are different tunes. I think this one is a... Uh, it's drag. Yeah, you gotta go drag. <laughs> you got a crap ton of tokens! I mean, you never know. You know, be in a, one of those situations. But one thing I did do is... um, My... You know, I'm a Nissan collector. That's mm -hmm. my niche. Uh, so you see here with these skylines, you can notice something with this uh, 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 rare. This uh, ready, I do one drag spec of each. So I do one nine six nine and then one drag spec. The and then anything with drag spec and a, and a nine six nine in commons, they they always impress and, me because it's not like zero point one seconds. It's like point three, point four. 
but I do it for a particular reason. Um, the Skylines, the S series, which is all your Sylvia's and your your Z. Um, most of those that are like your sports cars for are um, gonna be your performance tires, except these. This one here is the standard, it's the original. But um, whenever we have these challenges that Hutch likes to put out, they always make you drag spec a car. A car you normally would not drag spec. It's always some tracks that they put on there, and you're surprised that you lose to a nine, you know, a an eight 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 car or something like that. You know what I mean? Because you don't have one drag spec. So most majority of them at least do one drag spec. You know. No, that's smart. I get what you mean. I've realized that too. Like usually they would do like you know some kind of special challenge. They put in a bunch of commons. Not a single one is a common that you would drag at all. But they would add a yeah. drag, and like it's always going to be the common with the lowest zero to sixty out of the bunch. All right. Exactly. So I was like, I've always realized that it's like when it comes to a challenge, there might be no drags back common in there, but I would identify which card in the special tag has the lowest zero to sixty, and I'll just drag spec it anyway. Yeah. So as you see, I got the jags from the when they used to be a. You got ten a, of those Nissan Figaros too. I mean, if you count one as oh. two, because they're two in the picture. <laughs> Right, but I got a uh, five. That was just my OG favorites. Used to use those on clubs because they were medium ground clearance. Uh, I don't really like playing. But when you start off, you know, one thing I tell people who say clubs is boring, especially when you first off in the game and everybody wants the epics and the, you know, the legends. Um, Got to remind people, man, when you play clubs, no matter if you play commons or super rares or legends, the payout's the same. No matter how many races you do, the payout's the same. So don't uh deter because you gonna play the lower rq uh requirement um and say i'm gonna pass it because it still pays out the same you get your five races it pays the same you get mvp to pay the same so the low end stuff definitely can't help you in the beginning no definitely like as, you know beggars can't be choosers especially when you first start you gotta play the lower rarities i mean i don't do it yeah. but you gotta play the lower rarities i was talking to uh, i was talking to jacob from the server uh i was doing a garage review for him like two days ago and yeah what you said was absolutely right the payout's the same but for lower rarity things i'm sure you can agree you gotta work more to get the same payout because um i was talking to, to jacob and i was saying that less people play clubs when it's common or uncommon so it's harder to get a top 10 you need to do more races because if a lot of people play clubs if it's 300 in the bracket you can be in the top 30 and get top 10 right but like right. it's only like you know 20 people playing you need to get like top like five right correct it's true True. So you need but to also, a bit more races. But then again, lower rarities allow you to do that because the cars don't get servicing that easily. Correct. That that's true too. Sometimes you you race five is, you get to your tenth race and you still have three or four more races that you can do because the service doesn't take as long. You know. Exactly. But, so you have paid so, the same, but you might need yeah. to race a little more. Another thing I do is is that on the rarity, what's this common? Yeah. Uh, super rare, rare. Uh, the legendary, well, I tried the legendary, but anything above that, I do three. So you see the Sylvia's, I have a 969, a 996, and a 699. Uh, that's just my thing. I want to have one of each, just in case there's a challenge. And also, I use them in clubs. You know, there's all, there's no, there's very rarely a car in the game that you max out one particular way and it wins every, every track. It's just not. It just doesn't happen that way. Um, so that's just my my pet peeve as far as Nissan goes. I only do it for Nissan. Yeah, I think I, I've not asked this question yet. Um, <laughs> Corn, what is your favorite brand? <laughs> just for the video. Yeah. So let's just go to filter here. <laughs> let's just go to manufacturer. 297. <laughs> Bro, I was like, you got a respectable amount of Dodge, you know, 76, and I think you had like 74 BMWs or something I, like that. I, I, I got, I'm 76 Dodge, and I got, I mean, BMW used to be the the most cars in one manufacturer at one point on the game. Um, so it's fairly easy to collect, and plus they have a lot of lower end um, rarity as well. Yeah, it, it's definitely the highest. USA is the close second. That is actually uh, surprising, because like you, you did not have a, an American legend for the longest time. It took me a while to really build up the USA Garage. I would not um, 
fare well as far as packs or even event or challenges that gave out us cars you know um a lot of duplicates of course and then some cars you're just not really interested in keeping more than one uh, to have different types of setup as well but yeah the usa took a long time coming i didn't get a legendary us car till after two years of playing the game so yeah it was uh, this it year a, wasn't it and it happened to be a prize car it was the uh the chrysler oh uh, yeah the me 412 yes that oh. was it was like was that what was that like last may 2021 I think that was or last may. Like that. for some reason i thought your first uh american legend was this year oh you know what your first american non-prize legend was this year wasn't it no i got i got that and i think less uh, we can we can go there uh us yeah, let's that's go. With you, that. So, yeah, it's a 4GT. That's the only one you got. The, the non prize, I mean. So, this is 500 days of Zach. Okay. Um, and then right after that was the Ford. 487. No way. So, that long? It just felt like. I felt like this year when you were in the chat saying that you finally got your first American Legend. Nope. And all the rest of my prize cards, as you see. Um, shocking, you know. But hopefully, get some more. Uh, I still haven't pulled the Viper. Go figure. Not even the Dodge. Oh no, just a legend. Just a legend. Okay, you got epics. I have that. But I don't have. I have epics, but I don't have um any of the legendaries. Never pulled any. The epic yeah. collection is strong, though. Well, this was a legend. It dropped oh, down. Yeah, it was. It was a legend. It dropped down, and then we have. I think that's what part for American. I think that's all I had to drop down as legend. Um, but it's some stuff, you know. I'm, I, I want to max this stuff, so I'm gonna have locked it. I need to drag spec one of these. So I'm holding on to that, just trying to wait till I get the material, the fuse material to do so. And I've had this Hellcat the same amount of days as I've had my original charger. It's 803. This is when I pulled that when you jumped offline and I pulled them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it was for the white so, body, if anything. Yeah. And I, uh, you know, so I just haven't had a chance to, haven't had a really need to use them. I mean, it's been in a few events, but I usually don't max or upgrade epics for a ceramic event. You know, if it's a tri series or something like that, or carbon fiber or for a challenge, I'll upgrade. But for a ceramic event, I usually don't upgrade any epics. I just play with what I have. Um, that's a good strategy for any newcomer. Don't don't bury yourself trying to beat people on top ten for ceramic just to get an RQ forty. You know, exactly. it's not it's not a it's not a even payout to me. No, no. Um, I mean there is a chance to win a legend, but majority of the time you're going to get super rare, and it's like it's not really worth upgrading a car that high up to just to get a top ten in one of those events. No, I agree. I think I've top 10 like the last 25 events that came out. Nothing but super air. Not even an ultra. Yeah. Just super air. I've been not so great this year in Legends. I've, I mean, challenges wise, I've been okay so so. And as far as my pools, not many from Sorrentz. I don't, I don't think I had the longest drought as you had early this year, but it hasn't been uh, consistent like last year. Last year, I was, I was getting Legends at least once a month or every couple of weeks, you know, but this year, not so. Not so, not so good. I feel like, but, uh, to be honest, it's, it's the same with me because I've been tracking my legendary pulls for this is the third year now that I'm tracking it, and I think I peaked in 2021 when it came to legends. I, I was pulling like I averaged like four legends a month last year. This year I'm averaging like 2.5. Yeah, I'm not doing very well, yeah. and I haven't done that well even since after the update. I think I pulled two. I pulled one the day of the update, but it was not a new car. It was a it was a McLaren, which is great, new to the garage, but it wasn't a new uh, World Expo car, you know. Your epics um, look really good, though. I mean, I, just off the American collection alone, you you, you see the Celine, uh, the blue Resvani. That that already makes your American epic collection like arguably stronger than mine because I don't have any of those. I, I, I feel like the only like, key car you're missing out on, and you have the Raptor, I think the only key car you're missing out is the GMC Cyclone. Yeah, I have the, uh, the Typhoon, yeah. and that's the thing I had, I was one of those, I had a Cyclone before, probably two years ago, and needed to upgrade, 
into a legend and I had to fuse it and I've never pulled one since. That's how it is with epics, you know. Um, there's some epics I've still have never pulled. I still never pulled. I don't just look at the uh nah well yeah, unless it's a legend or yeah. an epic that hasn't came out yet, yeah. You, but, you uh, haven't gone to Juke yet, have you? Jukar? Nope, have not. It's still on the list. Soon, 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 soon. <laughs> never have. But I'll tell you one thing, this these uh this Lambo and this uh Remax. Yeah. The only reason why they are wish list is because I don't have an RQ99. Uh, I have every RQ for Legends except a 99. I don't have a 99. I have hundreds. I have 98. No 99. So that's why they make the list. And those are the only two you can pull. And the other well, ones are the, all prize. Um, the Bugatti Chiron Sports the next prize car rerun. So you can probably wait for that. Hope so. <laughs> so. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't know if it's I mean, the next prize car rerun. Probably, I feel like it is, it, though. It, it should be. It's, it's it's over two years. I mean, you know, I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't mind it not coming out that or that BMW. Yeah. But uh, I'm a I'm a 911 fan, as you see all the turbos here. So, so that's why they 911 turbo is my my car. Hope you get that Zanavi uh, soon too. I mean, that'd be a great car if you. Uh, I don't think they do tune-ups anymore though, so I don't know if we're gonna get any more carbons for the final. Just have to wait to see. Yeah. Some of these cars I have on here because, of course, of my niece with Nissan. And some I just like the pick. I just like that picture. I just want it in my garage. I don't think I'm going to upgrade it. I just want it in my garage. I want this one because it's medium. Yeah. Um, um, and then some of these cars are already, they were legends, like the Vantage, both the Vantage there, you know. Um, of course, 911 Turbo was was a legend. I think you I and I were pull the only two that didn't have a DS Numero 9. You pulled George first, and I was like, dang it. Yeah. <laughs> recently, recently, but I mean, it's been a long time coming, man. And these cars here, man, um, that are that I have on a wish list, I even though they're some of them might be OGs, I have never pulled them. So if you see them here, I've never pulled these cars. Um, still waiting to try to get one. And even though the Grand Sport is not as vicious as it used to be i don't see my wish i thought i had it on here i think i took it off my accent but i still don't see the sl the sls the convertible one i've never pulled that still want one but uh these cars now i will say this this mercedes here i did have i had as an epic i had to upgrade so i fused that away uh, but the rest of the, but the rest of these cars that I, I had the the mercedes and i'll tell you why I had the Mercedes, the RQ64. I had the RQ62 Lotus. And I had the, what was another one here? The 55 Countach, when they were epic. But uh, I fused them away into something that we all know, very important. Uh, I think I know what it is, the new boy, isn't it? If we go to Legendary, and we go to, I'm just gonna go to my car. Fully upgraded here. Here's the what I have, and it went into those. That's beautiful. so. I have not seen anybody else with this Max yet. I think it's a Birdie posted one. I don't know if that's his or not, but that's my new baby. And uh, like Corvette, like Wyatt, I'm still at 100. <laughs> percent So <laughs> you gonna keep it that way? I'm gonna try my best to, man. I, I, I don't gotta think try it to be that you know. hard. It's it's a ridiculously amazing car. It is like I couldn't do this one because for this the handling, even though the MRA is strong for eighty six, there are other cars with better handling, so it'll get you on twisty tracks or whatever, you know. Yeah, but yeah. it's not ninety seven. Seven is still really good. I, I think that's I think my demons at ninety five, and I'm I'm really proud of that. So ninety seven is ridiculous. I mean, let's just right. stay on this for a second. You know, these these are all your max. Legends, and I think I count what six of them are Nissan, right? Pretty much, I got and I got these two back here. Yeah. So my first Max Nissan, well, I would say the first Max Legend was the Lancia. It's yeah, It's the first yeah, Legend I, I pulled. That. First Legend I pulled after you get the twelve C, you know, for Italian Renaissance, one of those elite packs or something like that. Um, I will say this: that car, I think the highest that car was was like a. After they did the RQ scale change, I think it was like an 85 or 84, I think the highest that ever been. But even though we have lower end legends, um, 
and people who pull lower impact legends, people who play, don't count them out because I tell you, this Lance here has won me two prize cars. Yeah, I was gonna and say the reason it why. Won you one, didn't it? And it reason, yeah, it won me one like this year, and it won my first prize car. Um, also, um, two years ago, three years ago, something like that, the Bugatti. Okay. Um, okay. And the reason, and the reason why is because it's you think of the the RQ helps you because you can fit it in your hand, mm. you know. Then it beats all the epics. So even though you say I'm not going to upgrade a low end legend. It can actually come a big factor because it'll beat the RQ 79s, it'll beat the 78s. You know, it'll give you just that one, that extra, the extra win. You know, and uh, it's a good thing to have. But um, first Max Nissan, of course, was the GTR. I pulled that off a of ceramic, and then my second one was this road car. Even though this was my first Nissan Legend, I pulled. I um, love this. I I love the. It's an absolute power play. To have two legendaries max, one drag spec, and then one six nine nine. That that I, I freaking love that. Like I don't even do that for dodge yet. I don't have two of the same dodge as max yet. Like that is a power play. Right. That, that is a statement right there. And I'll tell you why. Okay. So the reason why this was first max at nine nine six was is before JPT came out. The events that had Japanese cars will always have the Mazda. Mm -hmm. And if there is a one mile or a half mile or a hill climb, the closest car in the game that can lose by 50 is this car. But you had to drag spec it. So even though most people say, no, you would just 699 it, but it was the only car that you would lose by 50. Anything else would get shattered. You're just losing, you know, hundreds and hundreds of points, you know. So when I first got this car, I said, I'm going to drag spec it because it's the closest thing I have. Because the Mazda, you have to win the prize car. You know, and then later on down the road, I had a second one and I did this one the right way. Um, uh, you know, so that was the reason, the purpose why I have one of those drag spec, which also came in handy because then it won me the IDR because I had two. And most people had this car and they had either one star or two star. And a lot of them had, and a few of them who did have it at 699. The IDR had that one, tr those two track sets that had one mile drag. Easy you win. The, you mean the Volkswagen IDR? Yeah, yeah, the Volkswagen. Yeah. That car was needed for the Volkswagen IDR? I didn't even know that. Yeah, it was, I uh, it was like the, the EV pieces of crap. I think it was 90, I think requirements was 90s rear wheel drive. Okay, J okay. Japanese, it was Japanese 90s rear wheel drive. So I had both of those and I had my, race car over here max you know and uh oh yeah it was japanese yeah. i was thinking of the remac the remac was the ones we need to be got it. yeah the idr yeah never mind yeah you're right you're right you're right and my no my most used car in the game is this jag it's probably like my fourth or third or fourth legendary i pulled from a ceramic product from i can't remember if it was ceramic or carbon it was a long time ago so what but, would uh, you say is your favorite legend over here well, this is starting to take my heart here right now, you know. But uh, yeah, if we're not, if we're gonna take that one out because it's new. Um, I will probably have to go with the CX seventy five or the GTR. Um, yeah. yeah, I have to probably go with the GTR. Ninety two percent, twenty four hundred races. Not bad. And you I just have to know when you. Corn thing ever. I think I, I would. Yeah, I mean, that. I mean, you just have to know how to use your cars. You know, just because you say the car. Uh, we have cars in here that don't reach their maximum speed or never get anywhere near it. But knowing what track set to use them on and which is best for them is what you need to use them for. This Jag, to me, I think everybody realizes that 98 might be a bit high. Yeah. But when you put it on a, when you put it against other cars, it does hold its own. Um, no, it's not going to be any of the the newer cars that have the hybrid or the, uh, not hybrid, but the electric engines. Because the torque is just insane, you know. But for its its niche and for its year for 2013, it is a dominant car for its niche. Um, so I can understand why it's still a 98. Um, yeah, man. But epics. Let's go to epics. How many so fully did you have, Max? Here. I have 90. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. 90, uh, including the button. Yeah. I mean, that counts as for 10. It's fine. 
I mean, you said that you like the I mean, 911s too. Like, that's probably like, you were probably stoked at getting that. I was excited to get this. And then once I maxed it, so 102, I was like, I don't think I have any epics that's that high because the rest of them moved up to Legends. You know, your Furai moved up, the, the Super Light moved up. I don't think I have anything. Well, I got these prize car ones, but nothing else that you can pull. I guess a Mustang too. But just to have that car was like, this is a great start to World Expo, you know. I'm actually interested. Like right now, like can we just have a look at your World Expo collection? Sure. I think I'm still running off the high of this update, to be honest. I, I love the cars in this update. They're, they're I do like the, I like the balance. Yeah. The balance of it. Even though I haven't been doing too many, too great on pool. So this is my first legend that I pulled from World Expo. Okay. It's in a state, so that's cool. 12 days ago. I wish it was medium, but I can't get it all, I guess. But uh, <laughs> I mean, if it was 2017, yeah. it would be medium. And then, like, you know, in a year later, it right. would go low. Right. And then this is my 100 legendary. Nice. The one we won from the challenge a few days ago. Yeah. So that's number one. So that's cool. And not 11, so I'll take that. Um, but I, 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 I do want a stronger garage. I have one upgrade left on this one to max out this one as well. Nice. I'm just, just holding off on that. It's not, it's not necessary needed right at the moment. But that's I do crazy. like there's, that car. There's like a massive drop off in the epics. It goes from you got like six seventy nines. So it just drops to seventy four. Yeah, I don't have anything in the middle. That's that's a problem with my garage. I can't. <laughs> I just can't get anything in the middle. So like seventy sevens or anything. Nothing. Bro, you go from seventy nine to seventy four. So. Yeah, I'm doing way well on the high end, but the filler stuff is what you need sometimes. That middle, middle area, you know. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. Um, this one, even though you said it was high garbage, this sucker won me that Nissan. And you said, hey, like, hey, that's it's right, I ran it. I think at the end of the day, because we had the conversation in the Discord, and I was like asking, like, how many people actually use the medium? Because initially, everyone was saying, oh, we're just going to use low ground clearance, you know, F it. But, like, it seemed that most people use the Audi in the end. Um, hey. Once I knew the track says that was in the hand. Was the I, I the ended two one without a medium ground clearance car. Just like, and it was useful because you use it on the one medium set, and then the other says always had a rain twisty. So I just throw it on that. Well, if I win or lose it, I'm not gonna lose by much, you know. So it was just, the, it was the filler car that you just needed to have, you know. See, for so that, me, that, I that could survive about. without it because I had the four wheel drive 911. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So for me, I was like, yeah, I don't need no low ground clearance. I don't need this. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. And I had no legends at the time. You know, those legends came after the event had ended. So yeah, yeah. I had no to play as well. So I'm slowly progressing this. Um, I'm surprised now that, you don't have that C111 Max. Well, I started on it. Okay. And then, and then I didn't need it. So I was like, just I'll hold off. It's the only... Um, Prize car ultra rare that I have that's not max. It was really good in the um, qualifiers though. Yeah, and that's the thing. I could I could have used my fuse to max it for the qualifiers, or I could just hold my fuse material. So I I just hold off. I didn't need it. I had other cars that that did pretty well, so I didn't I didn't necessarily need it at the time. Fair. But uh, you know when you when you're playing, you got to know when to fuse and when not to. And you you're a specialist at this, you know. Um. Not everything needs to be upgraded right away, and not everything needs to be maxed um, 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 for every. You know, sometimes you just say, you know, I'll just use it later on. It's not, a, especially if it's a price car, it'll be there. It's not going anywhere. It's not. It's not something you have to always have. So, and we know this. Even a lot of people have price car efforts that still aren't maxed and have had them for three years. I have one. Well, I kind of um, want to continue the, the, the conversation of flexing over here. Let's see all your prize cards. <laughs> all right, let's go there. Oop. Prize cards. Okay, here we go. Woo! XGR9 and IDR. Those are the first two things I see, dude. Like, ah, such great cards. And unmatched. I yeah. think I have two fuses in this one. That yeah. Porsche is still hot. No, you say it should be 100. Nah, that's still it's still a hot car. It's still a hot car. I think it's still great. Um, XJR is definitely something I would love to max. 
just don't have the fuse at the moment because we put it all into my Nissan down there. Um, road. I'll tell you what, another car. I, I don't know if they'll ever bring this one back, but this is actually really good. Oh, yeah, yeah you got an uh, upgrade in that too. Yeah, I got a weight upgrade in it. This is actually a really good car. Spicy. Yeah. This is this is actually a really good car. Um, I think it was Ride of the I... Valkyries, right? It came out 2020. It's been a while. Yeah, I think it was like October 2020, yep. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. This was uh, around the world. This was all Oh, that was around... Okay, okay. The Valkyrie was the... Uh, was this one. Oh, yeah. that makes so much sense. Yeah. Yeah. Right, was that. yeah. So, yeah, this was around the world. That actually is a really good car. I don't know if the winner would bring it back. That's another thing with... The fact that they gave cars out the first time on Challenges... You know, I don't know how they're going to bring those back out as far as a rerun. It's kind of hard to, I guess, kind of make people get a tri series on it. Um, when people just want it with a challenge. For that. Yeah, you have to rerun challenge or something for it. But a prize car. Um, what we got here? So, this I is my oldest. Baby Bertha. Yeah. I, I couldn't more. even get that. It, I don't know what the requirements were anymore, but I couldn't even get that. I couldn't get the Volvo. When what was that? In the shadows, I think it was. The no, it was um. The uncommon one. No, it was the Christmas challenge. No, the epic. Oh, okay. The epic Volvo. I couldn't win that. I think it was for a Christmas challenge or something like that. I couldn't get it. I mean, I've I've gotten almost every epic prize car that they used to do when they give you like a super ultra and an epic and a legend yeah the only one i couldn't get, the christmas challenge one i couldn't get you know couldn't pull that one for me but, i i totally forgot what ch I, was it a horror show was baby birth of the horror show one i, I can't remember so horror show was what last let's see nah went that far on okay yeah i just don't remember getting it i got close to it i just remember i was so like incredibly terrible in that requirement wasn't the baby well wasn't the baby birth of the whatever the year of the what was this year mm. year of the year of the rat I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so I don't think so I finished that challenge okay yeah it was something else if anybody knows you can comment down below but the baby bertha like i i do not remember the only time i regret not having it is when it's Vauxhall times five in clubs then i feel the pain outside of that don't that's why i need i need to max this because this is actually better than the nissan yeah and it's front wheel drive which is also very useful in clubs and for one heart you better I, I that's worth it to me um something i definitely want to work on then I have the crappy ones. Like I maxed this long, long time ago. I maxed this. Um, I still think it's too high in our queue. Way too high. And I think I, it should have gone down to ultra. I'm not gonna lie. It should have been like a 64, or 63, or something like that. Yeah, I, I think it's mainly it's just the handling. How the handling is so terrible. I mean, I don't know. And then the Nomad, I wanted to do, but then I held back. It's not really a rally car to me. I'm so surprised. I, mean, I asked what your favorite car. You're not going to ultra race for this. Nah, I, I mean it can be, but it's. I would say my favorite car of all time, of course, is the, the, uh, the thirty three. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was gonna be easy thirty three, and you went to Epic. So I was like, wait, it's, what? It's thirty three, but I would say the all the the Epic version. I was I passed over the Epic thirty three, probably my my favorite now, but these are my favorites. Mm -hmm. So these three, these four here, I have two at nine nine six. Um. Part one of my some of my oldest cars in the game. Um, use them in clubs all the time, and you know what I usually use them? I use them on wet. Yeah, I don't use them that much on dry. But uh, but on the wets, I use them glorious. And you see, every every Nissan that's like that has that uh, all wheel drive or more that. You're just looking at Nissan. Yeah, I know people gonna say, "Look at mine." You got this mini Nissan, but <laughs> it's what it is. And even though you say, "Well, I wouldn't match that," and you're right, I probably should have held off on this. But it's a Nissan. I gotta have one max. No, and you I, see, I'm I, keeping I my three. That. I respect that. And I'm, I'm gonna keep my three because I gotta max one of each. 
um, Same with 200 level. as well. I wouldn't max it as an epic anymore. But hey, if you're but a collector, I, I, man, I you gotta one. go for it. I gotta get one. Yeah. All my Nissan, I gotta just have one of every type of Nissan Max. I'm working on this one still. I got one more upgrade left, and I have another number 14 Air Max. But uh, slowly, pro slow progress. There's nothing needs to be rushed. The Dodsons, I'm okay with them being medium. But I don't like it when it loses Suzuki. It just sucks. Oh yeah. It's some tracks that the Suzuki uh, actually wins wins out. Um, but you see my, I gotta max this one out. I gotta do that one nine nine six nine. But I'll tell you this: a, a, a common thing now for ultras and even some of the the high end super rares, because um, the ones that had dropped from ultra um, six nine nine is going to be more common. In, you're going to see it more in the super rare to me because even though the cars might have dropped RQ, a lot of them didn't change their um, initial uh, stats as far as handling or MRA or anything like that. So they'll still be better at 699 than 969. But when it comes to challenges, very rarely do you need to have a 969 car. Um, usually it's always the fuse that you normally don't do, which is 996, unless it's a particular car that's that's better at drag, so it has a higher MRA. So my my uh, way to go is now is is that you're not gonna get me on Nissan. So if there's any type of Nissan challenge come out, I'm gonna have my stuff ready to go. You know, so uh, I still need a third one of those. I still haven't pulled one. Sometimes, man, sometimes it's hard pulling these cars, man. Absolutely tough. I love this collection. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure everybody knows, but everyone knows that you are the, you are, I was going to say you are the corn guy. I mean, you are, but you are also the Nissan guy. The Nissan yeah, I know, but <laughs> It's ridiculous. Why do you have so many of those Max? Oh, it's just me, man. You gotta yeah, play close, man. This is crazy. You got three, two, two, three, two. Like, I love Dodge, man, but I don't even have like three or four of each rare Dodge Max. Like, I have it for ultra rares, and then it kind of just drops off. Like, I'll just get one of each, and I'm happy. Right. This is me, man. This is my thing. No, I love when we started, it. I was so psyched when they dropped JPT, and they had Nissan, you know, a lot more Nissans come to the game, which I was really a fan of. But the one thing I'll say that's disappointing is, is that fact that they never had a Nissan Times 5 yet. And even though they didn't have one before, normally when we get a new uh, update, we always have the manufacturer's final. Yeah. You know, whatever manufacturer added to the game, we'll have a, you know, even like Jaguar, you can use the older ones, but they had like a Jag GE Times 5, you know what I mean? Yeah. They, never, they haven't done that with Nissan yet, and I'm waiting. I'm it, it definitely <laughs> felt that all the tri series that came out weighed towards the Subarus more. Like there was a Subaru Correct. and there was like a, a what a JPT Saloon one as well. Yep. Yeah, yep. it just felt like everything was all Subarus, and that's why like I feel like when we look back at JPT, the first thing that comes to my mind at least is actually Subaru. Um, and I, honestly speaking, like if the first thing that came to my mind about JPT was Nissan, I would probably think of JPT in a nicer light. Because <laughs> the Subarus get kind of boring. <laughs> and that's because they so they so similar. They're like, yeah. you know, from one RQ to the next, it's a, a point oh one on acceleration or a one notch in handling or the top speed is up by three miles per hour or something like that. So it's like, exactly. not really that much difference. I and think the, the biggest same, thing... It's the same story for... Uh, uh, World Expo, you know, it's like we think we think it's a great up, or at least the majority of people think it's a great update. Because when we think back of it, we think of the Porsches, the the Mercs, the the Resvanis, and the Celines. If we thought back of World Expo as just the Audis, I don't think it would be as nice. Right, right. What is something that you really? What is your maybe your like your oldest car or something? That's the thing. I wish they had a a spot, but I'm a. What is it now? Is it rare? The uh, Twizy? Oh, the Twizy's your oldest car. Yes. Yeah, it, is it rare now? Or is yeah, it... yeah. RQ30. It's like somewhere at the bottom. Yeah, there you go. I think it's this one. How old is that bad boy? 1,178. Okay, okay. Yeah. My oldest. From the campaign, man. Way back when you playing the campaign, you went to Twizy. You're like, okay, this car is great because it's 
actually winning events and then later on you learn that you don't need it as much because as you see only 400 races i mean until today yeah, it's still blossom choice you mean you got this yeah. from the campaign yeah like you know on a prize boards looking towards yeah. the future then what, what 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 are your like top three dream prize cars i think we can we can end off with that oh we can do that so we don't have to go here <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this I, I one right Japanese here. Cars, so what's so what's in the top three? You know, this one right here. Okay, definitely, definitely want that one because that will be. It's gonna change the front wheel drive meta in clubs forever. It is the oh my goodness! If you win this car, you, you you're it for front wheel drive. Mm -hmm. This is all you. Need. As long as it's not raining or snow, this is your car or any type of city streets. This is your car to have. Yes, sir. Um, that yeah. one, definitely. I still am aiming for this one. This is just that thorn that I cannot seem to get. Uh, Everyone I, I seems still to be getting it before you. I can't seem to get it. I've seen people with like three of these. I'm like, just hand one to me. You know, you're not going to match it. Just give me one. I'll work on it. You know, that one. And of course, we got this one coming up, which is one that I still be real glad to get. Um, next few weeks, I guess they're going to release it so we can get it. But that Evo is going to be great. Bag for that easy. Yeah, so I hope so. So we see how this old guard challenge goes and what they bring with it, and how much I have to upgrade to get it. But yeah, definitely this car. Yep, this is a good garage, man. I'm I'm proud of my garage. I'm happy that I have my garage the way I built it. Um, just about everybody else who has their own garage, man. Just be happy with what you have. And uh, I would tell another person, I say, hey, man, don't worry too much about legendary because a lot of times people get upset not winning a prize car and they can't get the legends or they don't pull a, a legend because of the pack was an epic I mean, elite pack or whatever but you have to ask yourself this man if you pull the legend could you upgrade it because it's not going to do anything for you at a one star you know so that's something you have to tell yourself if i did get the legend could you upgrade it? you know and i don't mean just putting one upgrade in it because nowadays with tri-series it's max or nothing that's how it you're is right. you're right you're absolutely right i would say uh, minimum you gotta max a handling you gotta max something yeah. you know so even though you have 50 legends if you got none max they're not gonna really help you much you gotta be able to upgrade and, and, and work on those cars so i would say keep building your garage guys and keep having fun and don't let the game get under your skin it's uh it's a good game to play it's a great strategy and you can meet a lot of people yeah, that's that's fantastic advice. Like as long as you are happy with what you got. I mean, once again, you can get everything. But corn, if you want, we can end off with just your Nissan garage. I think that's the most like, you know, the the perfect ending. It's it's, it's kind of like the perfect picture, you know, of how like one person enjoys the game. You know, this is why you play, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Trying to get these, man. Trying to get these, man. I mean, my you know, at the end of the day, the game's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Because obviously, we we I remember our, we were in the server when you didn't win the the first Godzilla. But who uh -huh. cares, right? It'll, it'll come back. You'll bounce back. You won the GT five hundred. It's max. It's yep. better. Yep. Yep. That's how it happens. You know, just 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 wait for your car. You know, don't try to go after every tri series because that's a lot of stress on yourself to try to keep going after each one. Just go after the ones that you want. You know, just like you did. You did all the dodge. You're like, I'm going all in for my dodges. Yep. Stick with that. Focus you know? on what so, you like and, and just go yeah. for it. And that's, I think that's why I respect, like, how you play. You know, it's, I respect it so much because you know what you like. You know what your priorities are and you stick to it. You commit to it. You know, you, you play for cars that you love over cars that you need. I feel like a lot of players that, you know, are unhappy with the game, they don't really play for cars that they love. Or maybe they love cars that they need. That's it, you know what I mean? Yep. Like, in that yep. way, it's always going to be an endless road of hurt if you if you lose and, the Tri-Series. And, and I'll be honest, man, going through and just putting an upgrade and one legend here and a one up there and one here and one there just to get that extra win because somebody who might not have put an upgrade in theirs, that's a great strategy too. But then in the end, you're, it seems to me you're wasting the epics. So I will say, put your epics, if you're going to max out, put them in cars that you can use to win cars that you want, or put them in cars that you want to use and that you like. As you see, I have the IDR, and I have the FAP, and I have the JAG, and I have uh, uh, a 918, but I got all those cars before I got this. But I'm maxing this. This is my car. This is the one I wanted. Yeah. So this is the one 
I have no regrets of what epic that I fuse into it. I don't care. It's gone. They're out of here. And that's I'm the most important car. thing, right? Because I feel like every time you use this car, whether it be in clubs, whether it be in a multiplayer event, I know you, I know it's new, so there's not a lot of multiplayer events where you can use it in yet. But like every time you use it, it brings a smile to your face, right? Right. Yeah. Right. And that's Good. the most important thing, because even till this day, I've had my Dodge Demon since like 2018, and like even no 2019, and, and every and still, it's still till to this day when I use it, I still smile. Sometimes I even laugh. Right. Like it's. Some people might say it's sad, but I, I think it's, right. it's amazing. All right. And it's great when you have a car that you love to have and you love to, that you want and you match it and an event comes up where it's useful. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. And that's what the oh, game yeah, is all about, I think. Yeah, we're about to have some fun on this event. You know, exactly. You start, You're rub your hands okay. together. It's like, ah, I'm going to be undefeated. We're about to get a, a carbon fiber. You know, this is going to be great. You know, let's see what everybody else got. So that's another thing as well. So just... Play the game for fun, man. Don't don't get too frustrated. Don't get too wound up. It's a it's a game. Exactly. So. Exactly. You know, as as long mm -hmm. as you just you know focus on your passions. You know, stay true to yourself. You can play this game for years. I mean, I've been playing this for five years, and I'm not even sick of it. Yeah, I'm a little sick of the fact that we've been getting comments in clubs for like the past like two weeks. But outside of that, we're, we're chilling. We're chilling. I agree. I agree. Yeah. And also, you know, it's supposed to have more updates on the card drops. They're having a long, long long uh, time between car updates can get kind of stale you know the game can get kind of stale the game gets more difficult winning try on um, prize cards that way but it can be kind of stale when you have nine ten months before you get more cars added to the game but other than that man it's still a fun game to play it's still a fun game to collect these vehicles and uh, share what you have with other people whether it's instagram or discord or whatever you know it's, it's always fun I think to play. it's a community that really keeps it up. Like, especially, like, you yeah. know, for those 11 months, 9 months, no update. If it wasn't for the community, oh, it'd be dead. Bro. Right. 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 So I'm looking forward to the next update. Looking forward to our next big pack opening, which I know is going to be on Black Friday. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm hoping everybody's prepared for that as well. We yeah, got that's about... True, what, that's seven. true. Black Friday's next month. Yes, man. We got seven weeks away, man. It's going down. It's going down. All right, well, anyway, on that note, y'all, that is going to be the Garage Showcase. I hope you enjoyed this, like, one-hour special, depending on how long after I edit. But anyway, Corn, thank you so much for being on the channel. Happy birthday to you, my guy. Do you have any words just to close it off? Hey, man, appreciate being on. Thanks for getting me on this uh, top drive and chill with Blossom and guests uh it's an honor to be on here man nice to have your discord all you guys on discord been a uh, bit real supportive and everything and thanks for all the wishes for today anytime bro always a pleasure to have you once again guys comment down below a happy birthday to the board to corn to the nissan collector and wishing you guys a great day i'm gonna stay safe wash your hands you want to do the outro blossom out you can use your name Corn out. Hey. Yeah, well. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box, back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, 